what's up everybody, ASMR Fanatic here, and tonight I'm going to be ranking my top 20 least favorite WWE pay-per-views of all time. Now, these are only pay-per-views I have in my collection. Um, there are a lot more shows that I just hate, but um, I only included um, pay-per-views I have on DVD, so yeah. Um, you know, without further ado, let's get started. In 20th place, as you guys can see, I have WrestleMania 26. But there is a tie, as I also included WrestleMania 18. Now, um, I meant to say this in the beginning of the video, but... Um, on my list, I either have shows that I just don't like whatsoever, or I just found a very underwhelming, and yeah, these two WrestleManias are the definition of that word. Um, now, very disappointing shows, they could have been way better, and honestly, they were just one match shows, to be honest. So, um, I'll start with WrestleMania 26. So, I'm not going to go over the whole card, just the stuff I didn't like, so... Yeah, honestly, the only, you know, really great match on here was Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels. I mean, you know, I guess the Triple Threat match was good, Ray versus Punk was good, Triple Threat versus Sheamus, I guess, was alright, but the rest just, like, fell flat. I mean, this really wasn't a great WrestleMania, so, I mean, you had Jack Swire winning Money in the Bank, a meaningless tentative attack match, Another tag team match you know, I cared about. Um, Bret Hart versus Mr. McMahon sucked ass. Um, and also, the the two main events, Batista versus John Cena and Jericho versus Edge, I thought were not as good as they could have been. So, yeah, especially Chris Jericho versus Edge, because I watched that match, I think, last month. And, yeah, it was just a very average match. It wasn't really anything that special, so yeah. Not a good WrestleMania in my opinion. And moving on to WrestleMania 18. Yeah. Um I think a lot of you guys know that this is a one match show. And yeah, just looking at the rest of this card, honestly the only other thing I really like was just the women's triple threat match. Jericho vs. or yeah, Jericho vs. Triple H. It had no business being in the main event, and you know, obviously Triple H was gonna win. So, um, tag team match wasn't anything special. Austin versus Hall. That yeah, rest in peace got Hall, but yeah, that match sucked. Edge vs. Booker T. They feed it over a shampoo commercial. <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh, Flair vs. Undertaker. I actually find this match overrated. Um, I know a lot of people love that match, but I just don't like it. King vs. Kurt Angle, eh. Golden Star Maven, that was boring. DDP vs. Christian, eh. eh. I guess Flame Real vs. Rob Van Dam was good too, so. Yeah, uh, three good matches. Wow. <laughs> and especially in the year 2002, where the WWE's roster was stacked upon belief. Yeah, they could have done way better than what they did. So, anywho, let's move on to 19th place. I have Backlash 2002. Now, this show is very, very disappointing. Um, now, before I got this DVD, I never really heard of the show before. Um, I didn't know, like, what happened on here or, you know, the uh, results or anything. So I was going into the show blind. And so when I got it, I thought it was, was going to be great. Um, I liked the cover. The theme song was awesome. You had two what looked like to be great main events right there. Triple H vs. Hogan and Austin vs. Undertaker. Oh boy, was I wrong. <laughs> this was... These two matches were terrible. <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, you know, they were slow, and the match went on for 
book that just went on for way too long. And honestly, no disrespect, but these four men, they were not like in their prime during this time period. Um, they were not putting on the great of, greatest of matches. I mean, if you want to say Hogan had a good match was against The Rock, then that's fine. But yeah, after that, you know, it was just bad. Um, I never really thought it was a good idea to put the title on Hogan anyways. You know, after Triple H just won the title at WrestleMania. <laughs> I thought that was stupid. How Hogan just won it after a month. But yeah, these two matches... Take my advice, don't ever watch them. <laughs> yeah, unless you want to be tortured. But yeah, um, but you know, the rest of the card, it was actually pretty solid. I liked it. it just those two matches it was a real letdown because I paid a good amount of money for this DVD, expecting it to be good. And it really wasn't. So yeah. And next up, I have. Insurrection, 2002. Now, I kind of flip-flopped on putting uh, house show pay-per-views on the list. Uh, because, you know, these pay-per-views are pretty terrible. <laughs> but, you know, they are still pay-per-views at the end of the day. So, yeah, I did include them. So, yeah, Insurrection. Honestly, nothing really happened on the show. And... It really wasn't that great to begin with. Um, let's see, uh, Divas Tag Match, I guess that was okay. Delivers Real, that was okay. You had Sean Stasiak Timmy with Brock Lesnar. <laughs> uh, uh, Brad Shoppers X Pog, that was terrible. Honestly, this was my favorite match of the night Stephen Richards versus Booker T. Um, I do remember that match being actually pretty good, so. <laughs> Yeah, um, Eddie Guerrero versus Rob Van Dam. They've had better matches. This really wasn't anything special. Stone Cold versus Big Show. Was this his, was this Stone Cold's final match? I believe it was. I don't know, but it was one of those final matches. Yeah, not a good way to go out. Just not a good match whatsoever. Then you had Triple H versus Undertaker. Again, they were not putting on the best of matches, and especially not against each other, so, yeah. And next up, SummerSlam 2014. This is overrated. I never understood why people like this show. Um, you know, I ever since I first watched it back in 2014, I, I hated it, and I still hate it to this day. <laughs> um, you know... I think what really pisses me off about this show is that match. John Cena versus Brock Lesnar. I remember everybody loving this match, saying, oh, it was booked so perfectly. Uh, Brock looked so dominant. This match was effing awful. <laughs> I was so bored watching this. Because if you guys remember, Brock suplex Cena was like 19 times. I was like, good gosh, is this ever going to end? Yeah, I, oh, I was so pissed off watching the show. <laughs> then you had the Stephanie McMahon versus Brie Bella, which people liked too. And they said, oh, wow, I was so impressed with that match. And I'm like, what the hell did you even watch? That was bad. <laughs> like, I don't care about the Bellas and I don't care about Stephanie. So why shouldn't I care about the match? So, uh, let's see. Yeah, and Orton versus Reigns was just, eh. Honestly, the best match was... Ambrose versus Rollins in the Lumberjack match. I believe that's what they had. Yeah, Lumberjack match. So, yeah, uh, very overrated show. And next up, TLC 2009. Now, there is one thing that really ruins this pay per view for me. And honestly, it's not more so the matches, but the commentary. Oh my gosh, was it bad. Um, if I remember correctly, it was Michael Cole, Jerry Lawler, and Matt Stryker, I believe. Yeah, I think that was the three commentators. 
oh my gosh, that was, that was so hard to watch the matches and hearing them talk. They, oh, it was just bad. Just take my advice. Don't watch the show. Or just, you know what, just mute it. Just mute your TV and just watch it. Um, well, you know, actually, it is kind of matches I didn't like either. Um, I thought that um, Jarrah Show versus DX, their, was that a TLC match? Yeah, TLC match. It kind of plotted along. It was pretty boring, I thought. Um, I, I do remember it being better, but, you know, watching this match again, like, a couple months ago, it really wasn't that great. Uh, then you had John C. vs. Sheamus. Um, I'll be honest, I never really cared for Sheamus to begin with. And I thought him winning was, was like, okay. <laughs> I mean, I thought there were way better people to push, but alright, whatever. Um, you know, I don't really remember this match too well. I'm Jacob vs. Batista and Chair's match. I think Batista won. I don't know, I, I completely, I am completely blanking out on that match. <laughs> I cannot remember it. Uh, then you had Christian and Rochelle and Benjamin, which actually was kind of disappointing. <laughs> um, you know, I expected a way better match from them too, but yeah, it was kind of boring. So, yeah. Now, again, this is just my opinion, so, <laughs> yeah. And next up, Royal Rumble 2020. So, honestly, the only, there's two good things from this show. And that was Edge returning and Drew McIntyre winning the Rumble. The rest of the show, I hate it. <laughs> um, well, I, I, t I do take that back. Daniel Bryan versus The Fiend in the trap match wasn't that bad. But, yeah, the rest of the show, I didn't really care. You had Baron Corbin versus Roman Reigns in the most boring long match ever. <laughs> oh my gosh. They fought in the crowd for ages. It was so... Ugh, just awful. Uh, yeah, the Women's Rumble. Didn't Charlotte win this? Or was it Becky? I don't know. I, I just remember not really liking it that much. And then you had the Men's Royal Rumble. Which really pissed me off. And <laughs> it was about... Uh, when Brock Lesnar came in... I think at number one... And he eliminated, like, I don't know, seven people in a row. And you you had guys like Keith Lee, Cesaro. Um, who else? There were some other big names. I think Shinsuke Nakamura was in there, too. And you were like, oh, man, this is going to be so good. And like, it was cool seeing Brock going one-on-one -on -one against these guys. But he just got rid of them, like, in a second. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> that is some lazy-ass booking. <laughs> like, I get you in a book. Brock is like this dominant force in the Rumble match, but seriously, what the hell? So, yeah, um, I just didn't like that Rumble match whatsoever. And you, uh, I do apologize if I'm talking too loud. Um, I think I'm getting like, like worked up talking about these shows because, yeah, I'm starting to like go on these little rants. So, yeah, I'll try to whisper or soft speak. Next up, New Year's Revolution, 2005. Uh, another one-match show, which was that one. Um, a fantastic Elimination Chamber match. I love it to death. But the rest of this card, oh my gosh, is it terrible. So I will go through it all. Mohamed Hassan versus Jerry the King Lawler, awful. William Regal versus Ian Eugene versus... Tessa and Tom Kimmel and Christian. Eugene got injured during the match, so it was terrible. Lita versus Trish. Lita got injured, so it was terrible. Sheldon Benjamin versus Maven. Maven kept cutting these stupid long promos during the match, and he went again into the ring, which, gosh, it lasts like 10 minutes, and then Sheldon Benjamin just won. What the f- <laughs> Yeah, I don't- I don't understand that booking whatsoever. And then you had Kane versus Snitsky. Yeah, need I say more? So, yeah. 
just watched the Elimination Chamber match. Yeah, skip the rest. I don't ever watch the rest of that show. And yeah, next up, Bad Blood 2003. And I'm going to go ahead and say it. The only good thing about this pay-per-view was this theme song, which was uh, Headstrong by Trapped. That's it. That's the only thing I liked. Um, okay, you know what? I will give credit to this match. Goldberg versus Chris Jericho. Even though I hate Goldberg, I've never been a fan of his. Chris Jericho did get a good match out of him, so... Yeah, that's the only thing I liked on the show. So, yeah, but the rest of this card, my gosh, was it bad. Yeah, Dudley Boys versus Ronnie Mack and Christopher Nowinski. Need I say more? Scott Steiner versus Test. Now, I love both guys to death, but their matches, mm, yeah. Christian versus Booker T. I never thought they had the greatest of matches. Uh, Rob Van Dam and Kane versus La Resistance. A pretty nothing match. Gold, or, yeah, well, I'm already went over that match, actually. Uh, Shawn Michaels versus Ric Flair. You would think this match would be good, but it was pretty average and, and uh, to the point. So, yeah, kind of disappointing. Oh, gosh. Stone Cold versus Eric Bischoff in a Renick Triathlon. Oh. Terrible, 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 terrible. And main event, Hell in a Cell, Triple H versus Kevin Nash. Uh, this was a one of the worst Hell in a Cell matches ever. <laughs> um, you know, and that's coming from a big Triple H fan, my all-time favorite wrestler. Yeah, terrible match. Very slow, very boring, and very long. <laughs> I dozed off a whole lot during that match, so, yeah, um, anywho, next up, Insurrection 2003, which actually, um, was just Bad Blood 2003, as you guys can see, they're basically the same matches, <laughs> minus a few changes, um, and of course this is another house show pay-per-view, but still, yeah, um, so you have Triple H vs. Kevin Nash again, Christian vs. Booker T, Ron Van Dam and Kane vs. Law vs. Stunts, Diner vs. Test, Delis vs. Ronnie Mike vs. from Whiskey, adding Theodore Long to the match, like that would make it any better. Yeah, um, screw it. Match of the night was Jazz vs. Trish, if that tells you anything. Um, the Nana Rico vs. Gold Dust, which really sucked, so. Yeah, uh, good job, ladies, on <laughs> having the match of the night that night. So, yeah. Uh, next up, Royal Rumble 2006. Oh, the show could have been... It had potential. Well, kind of. Um, now, as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of the year 2006. But... Yeah, I despise this pay-per-view. Um, I actually watched it for the first time when I got this DVD, uh, I think two years ago, three years ago. Uh, yeah, I I knew after the first match the show was going to suck, um, which I think was either one of these two. And yeah, but yeah, we had Ashley versus Mickey James, not good at all. Jimbo versus Boogeyman. I felt so bad for JVL. Um, you know, he had the title in 2005. And, you know, main event it shows. Or he made, did he main event WrestleMania? No, he was in, the, like, the top main event match WrestleMania. He was John Cena. But, yeah, uh, flash forward to 2006, and he's facing the Boogeyman. Seriously. <laughs> you had Edge versus John Cena for the WWE title, in which John Cena won. And this was after Edge cashed in on Cena, like, what was it, two weeks ago at New Year's Revolution? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what the hell? I don't... Yeah. Um, I don't understand why they would cut off Edge's uh, momentum that early. 
Um, now, of course, we did get that great match against McFoley at WrestleMania 22, but still, why, why in the world would you take the title off of Edge, your best heel on your roster? I don't know. Uh, then you had, for the world title, Kurt Angle versus Mark Henry with Davari. Was Mark Henry really the best opponent you could have given Kurt Angle that night? <laughs> I mean, I do like Mark Henry, but come on. Seriously. And then you had the Rumble match, which was very boring. I did not like it. Um, it only got better in, like, the final five with Orton, Ray, Triple H, Rob Van Dam. And was Big Show the other person? I don't know. But, yeah, the rest of the Rumble was just not that good. And next up, SummerSlam 2007. Biggest party of the summer, my ass. And, yeah, uh, this show was just all about the returns of Triple H and Rey Mysterio, which was good marketing if I'm being honest, but that's all you got on the show. Um, you really didn't get much else. You got Great Kali versus Batista, in which Great Kali won, or Batista won via DQ, because Great Kali hit the, used the title on Batista. <sighs> what the F? I don't, yeah. Uh, then you had John Cena versus Randy Orton for the, actually, you know what? This might have been their first match, I think. I know that at a pay-per-view, this was their first match. Um, but still, it's John Cena versus Randy Orton. I don't want to see that match. <laughs> so, yeah, I have seen them wrestle enough times already. So, yeah, I just didn't care when I, when I watched that match. Yeah, Kane versus Finley. Eh, at Diva Battle Royal, who cares? Then you had John Morrison versus CM Punk for the 1,000th time. <laughs> Like, my gosh, how many times did these guys face each other? And, you know, the triple threat for the IC title, that was good, at least. So, yeah. <laughs> so, next up, Taboo Tuesday, 2005. Ah. Uh. I despise this pay-per-view. I hate it. I hate it so much. Uh, this was higher on my list, but I had other terrible, more terrible pay-per-views than this. But, yeah, this show is still bad. Uh, where did I begin? You had a meaningless Fulfill Your Fantasy Battle Royal match. Like, who cares? You had Eugene and Jimmy Snuka versus Ralph Conley and Tyson Tomko. Ugh. Terrible. Terrible. Uh, as Kane Trevor Murdoch versus Kane and Big Show, eh, it was okay, I guess. Honestly, this was one of my favorite matches of the night. Ray and Matt versus Snitsky and Chris Masters. Yeah, <laughs> this match was really good. It, honestly, it kind of put the main event to shame. I mean, this match was good, but it could have been way better than what it was. So, yeah, um, I I should watch this match again. It's been a while, but, yeah, I do remember not liking this match that much. Um, I expected way more from it. You had Flair for Triple H in a steel cage match. I thought this was kind of slow and not that great. I mean, it was okay, but, yeah, it could have been better, I thought. <sighs> this match... <laughs> Whoever booked this match should have been fired that day the show took place. Street fight. Batista versus John the Coachman with Goldust and Vader. I don't know. I don't I don't know what to say. This is just Yeah. No words. No words for it. And then you had Mankind versus Carly Doe. Who cares? <laughs> I just hate that pay-per-view so much that I, I just don't care. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, next up, Survivor Series 2013. Another show that 
I can't stand to look at. <laughs> uh, so, what really turned me off about the show was the main event. Now, I can't remember how it ended, per se, but I remember how slow and boring this match was. Good gosh, did it suck. Terrible, 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 terrible. Then you had Cena versus Alberto Del Rio, which I I never really cared for Alberto Del Rio. I thought he was boring to watch, and I mean, he was just an average wrestler at best. So, yeah, didn't care about that. Cena Punk and Dan Bryan versus Luke Herman and Eric Rowan. Honestly, this is one of the matches of the night. That and the Survivor Series tag match, which was really good, I thought. They had Biggie versus Curtis Axel, didn't care. Seven, uh, this match, <laughs> my gosh. 7-on-7 seven seven Survivor Series match. Team Total Divas versus Non-Total Divas. You know what, let me read out, it was in the match. So on Team Total Divas, Natalia, okay. The Bella Twins, good gosh. The Funkadactyls, ugh. Jojo and Eva Marie. <sighs> Kill me now. <laughs> then on non total divas, you had AJ Lee, okay. Tamina, ugh. Oksana, ugh. Summer Ray, ugh. Rosa Mendez, ugh. And Alicia Fox and Caitlin. Your only, <laughs> your only best name was AJ Lee on that team. So yeah, so you should have just had Natalia versus AJ Lee and just called it that night, but whatever. And then you had Ryback versus Mark Henry. Yeah, um, I'm done with that pay-per-view. <laughs> Next up, SummerSlam 2015. Now this show was kind of similar to 2014, in which people loved this show. I hated it. I hate this show with a passion. Terrible booking all across the board. Um, yeah, why don't I begin with the main event, which was Brock Lesnar versus Undertaker, in which the match ended via the bell ringing for no reason at all, in which Undertaker won? What? <laughs> How? I'm not, I am not going to try and use logic for WWE booking. It's just impossible to try and um, make sense of the stuff. <laughs> yeah. Then you had John Cena versus Seth Rollins, where John Stewart interfered at the end of the match to have Seth Rollins win. Yeah. <laughs> I hate when celebrities get involved in matches. I despise that. It should only be between wrestlers. That's it. Um, let's see. You had a Three-team Diva Elimination match, PCB versus Team Bella versus Team Bad, in which you saw Team Bad be the first ones eliminated, which had Sasha Banks on the team, in which she just made her debut alongside Becky Lynch and Charlotte. Why would you eliminate her team when you have Team Bella? Way to put your new star over. Uh, Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose versus Bray Wyatt and Luke Harper. This match was boring and went on forever. Neville and Stephen Amell versus Stardust and King Barrett. Honestly, well, I didn't care about the match, so. Yeah, um, there really isn't anything on the show I liked, <laughs> to be honest. And next up, which might shock some of you that this is not my number one, but it is. Oh, yes. ECW December to Dismember. Uh, you guys know about the show already, so I'll make it short and sweet. This was the only good match on the card. This was a train wreck of a match. I mean, for starters, they took out Sabu for the stupidest of reason, because he wouldn't cut a promo. Who cares? Just put him in the damn match. And you had Bobby Lashley win when it should have been CM Punk. So, yeah. 
uh, at that match, and the rest of the card, who gives a shit? <laughs> so, yeah. One of the worst pay-per-views of all time. And the next show is WrestleMania 2000. This should have been way better than what it was. There was absolutely no excuse for why the show was bad. I know Stone Cold was injured, but you still had all this talent and much more. But really, the best match was the Triple Threat Ladder match. What else did you have? I mean, Kurt Angle versus Jericho versus Benoit, that was good too, but yeah. Um, and this is even the rest of the card, or the whole card. The rest was like meaningless tag team matches. I'm like, is this even WrestleMania? <laughs> um, but yeah, um, you had the Cat versus Terry. <sighs> Terrible is an understatement. That match effing sucked. <laughs> um, the first ever 13 man hardcore battle royal for the hardcore title. That was a disaster. There was a huge botch at the end, <laughs> which. I think Hardcore Holly won or something. I don't know. It was just a mess. Um, see, I already talked about those two matches. Then you had the main event. Again, I'm a huge Triple H fan, but The Rock should have won. There was no question about it. The fans were super behind him, and it looked like he was going to win, but yeah, Triple H, he won again. But you know, the match itself, it did kind of suck. It really wasn't that great at all. Um, and you would think it'd be great, given who was involved. You know, Triple H, The Rock, Big Show, McFoley. But it turned out it was all about the McMahons. Which, you know, you should have expected, but still. Yeah, um, this, this show is just high on my list because it could have been way better than what it was. Like... Like I said, no excuse. You can't even use the, the Stone Cold excuse. So, yeah. Next up, No Mercy 2004. Um, I really don't know what to talk about on this show. <laughs> this is a nothing pay-per-view. Nothing of note happened on this show. Honestly... The only great match was Kenzo Suzuki and Rene Dupree versus Rey Mysterio and Rob Van Dam. I'm being serious. I guess if you want a second best match was Spike Dudley versus Nazio. <laughs> yeah, that shows you how bad the show was. You had Rico Charlie Haas and Miss Jackie versus the Dudley Boys and Don Marie. <sighs> yeah. Paul and Everest Billy came in. You would think that match would be great. Like, you know, high-flying action, you know, match of the night caliber. I thought this really wasn't that great. It, it was kind of slow, to be honest, which really shocked me. Because I was really looking forward to this match, but... Yeah, I didn't like it. Booker T here versus John Cena. I didn't really think their matches were that great. Eddie Guerrero versus... Luther Reigns. Yeah, Luther Reigns sucked. He had no business being in the ring with Eddie Guerrero. And that's not being harsh. That's me being truthful. <laughs> uh, you had Big Show versus Kurt Angle. I didn't really care. And then in the main event, a last ride match for the WWE Championship. JBL versus Undertaker. The match was going fine until the end. Where Heinrich came out, who I hate by the way, and cost Undertaker the match. Heinrich had no business having a WWE contract to begin with. He sucked, he always sucked. I don't care if he had the Heinrich gimmick or if he was in the tag team um, with the, the Legion of Doom 2.0. He still sucked, he has always sucked, and I will never, ever like him. <laughs> never have, never will. So, yeah, those are my feelings on Heinrich. <laughs> Anywho, next up, Great American Bash 
2005? Yeah, 2005. And it shows you how forgettable this show is. And once again, another one match show. Oh, yeah, one match show. Ray versus Eddie. The rest, what is there to say? <laughs> um, Tori Wilson versus Melina, Brian Pena's match. Oh, oh, look, what a coincidence. Eminem versus Roboy Hannibal and Heidenreich. <laughs> yep, you guys already know my feelings on that match, so I won't say anything. Then you had Undertaker versus Muhammad Hassan. What did WWE see in Muhammad Hassan? I didn't see anything in the guy. I thought he was boring. I thought he sucked. He was very plain, a very nothing wrestler, to be honest. Like, he had a, a foreigner gimmick. Ooh, like, that's been done a million times before. So, yeah, and this was a number of contenders match for the world title. I felt bad for The Undertaker. Uh, Orlando Jordan versus Chris Benoit. I think that match only lasted like a minute. So, yeah. And then, you had one of the most boring main events ever. Batista for JBL for the world title. Like I said, boring. <laughs> yeah. Almost done. Oh man, this video's long. But, in second place, Great American Bash 2004. You guys should know what this pay-per-view is known for. Yep. Yep. Should I even talk about the rest of the card? I mean, that's good evidence enough of why this show sucked. I mean, what the, what the hell? Who would even book that? Like... I don't know. I, I have no words. It's just stupid. It's just, like, are you mental? Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> like, you want to bury Paul Bearer? And that's how you want to match? I don't know what they were smoking that day or what. But, yeah. You know what? Since I'm here, I guess I'll go over the rest of the show. Tori Wilson vs. Sable. Terrible. Charlie Haas vs. Luther Reigns. Horrible. Harker Holly vs. Mordecai. <laughs> Yeah. Billy Gunn versus Kenzo Suzuki. Terrible. Fatal Four Elimination match for the U.S. title. John Cena versus Booker T versus Rob Van Dam versus Rene Dupree. Not as good as you would think it was. Ray versus Chavo. Really, the only good match. Um, and I guess the main event, the Texas Bull Rope, Bull Rope match. But, yeah, I don't know. I didn't really like that match, actually. Kind of slow and boring, but. Yeah, one of the worst shows ever. Don't ever, ever watch it. And for my number one, um, least favorite pay-per-view of all time, in my opinion. Yeah. WrestleMania 27. I don't even like looking at the show. <laughs> Um, if I didn't collect DVDs as a hobby, I would burn this DVD in a pit fire. <laughs> I would throw it in the woods. I would, I don't care, put it in a blender. <laughs> I hate this show. I hate it with a passion. I mean, was there anything I liked? There were just two matches, really. Orton versus Punk and Brady versus Cody. I guess Edge versus Del Rio. Those matches really weren't, like, fantastic or anything. They were just average at best. The rest of the show, I hated. Even Undertaker vs. Triple H. I guess the match was fine, but I really didn't think this match was anything special. Um, you know, Undertaker, his body really gave out during the match. I mean, it was obvious. So... Yeah, um, that's, that really is what brought the match down for me. Um, I thought the WrestleMania 17 match blew this out of the water. 
And of course, her WrestleMania 28 match was way better than this match. So, yeah, um, I hate to be hard on Undertaker because he is one of my favorites, but yeah, um, this, this should not have happened, if I'm being honest. Um, or at least just like make the match short, but yeah, just not a good match whatsoever, I thought. Very disappointing. Um, you had a six person mixed tag team match. Trish tried to. Snuggie and John Morrison were slight cool and Dolph Ziggler. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> I will get to that match in a second. I have a lot to say about that. Jerry the King Lawler versus Michael Cole, the special guest referee, Stone Cold Steve Austin. <sighs> I do have a lot of stuff to say about the match, but I won't. <laughs> I will save you guys the rant. Because I have more to say about this match than that. This was, that's just blasphemy <laughs> on the wrestling business. That's what this match is. So, yeah. Then you had an eight minute tag team match, which only lasted like a minute, I think. So, yeah, move along. <sighs> Main event time Miz versus John Cena for the WWE title. First off, why did The Miz ever have the WWE Championship to begin with? He's not championship material. He is mid-card at best. He has no right whatsoever of main eventing a freaking WrestleMania. And then, to make matters worse, this whole match was just one big advertisement for John Cena versus The Rock at WrestleMania 28. That's it. That's all this match was about. That's his only purpose. You know what? I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah. That match really pisses me off. To no end. I hate it. Oh, there they are again. You know what? Get out of here. <laughs> Um, no, this is a long video, and no, I do apologize if I did get it kind of loud, but you know, it's just the, the booking over the years by WWE, I just don't get it. Like, how can a company like this big be this stupid? <laughs> I don't know, that's a mystery to all of us. But yeah, anyhow. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. <laughs> you know, don't don't take this serious. You know, um, this this is just these are just my opinions, and you know, I just wanted to bring you guys some uh, entertainment. Um, so yeah, that was like the whole main purpose of this video. So yeah, don't think like I'm like you know getting like really pissed off or anything. I mean, I am, but you know, it's still and this is just a video. It's just for fun. So. Yeah, um, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know in the comments what are some of your guys' uh, least favorite WWE pay-per-views. This has been the ASMR Fanatic, signing out.